excited to chat with you, Chris. Uh, so you're down in Nashville. We're we're back here in Alberta right now. I feel like there's probably a little bit of a weather difference happening right now. Ironically enough, uh, they canceled school today because of ice on the ground here. So they are expecting some flurries, which is not very common down here. But uh, when there is even a little bit of snow in Nashville, they close the entire city believe it or not. So, yeah. <laughs> when they have ice and flurries in Nashville, is it kind of like, for a Canadian, is it kind of a joke? Like, do you walk outside and you're like, this is nothing? Honest answer, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's just, I guess, they don't have any snow plows, obviously, or anything like that down here, right? So. Now, Chris, you are down in Nashville. You are a month away now from dropping a new album. Is it like the calm before the storm for you right now? Is it a ton of work? Are you working 12 hour days? What's it looking like? Uh, I, I'm really busy just um, as I'm a songwriter down here. I have a publishing deal for people that don't know what that is. I, I write not only songs for myself, but I write for a lot of other artists as well. So I've been really busy more with that than anything. Like usually, you know, I'm writing, I don't know, five to seven songs a week. And then a lot of Canadian acts will like fly down here and we'll book them rights and, and stuff like that. As for the album, to answer your question, I, I finished the album about six months ago. So we're just trying to put it all together. So it's been sitting there for a while. Um, I recorded it down here. It was really cool. I recorded it with uh, Jeremy Stover and Julian King. Ju um, Jeremy Stover produced Justin Moore's album. So you might hear a little bit of some similarities in some of the music behind it and I had Dan Swimmer help out and another British Columbian uh, producer Jeff Johnson so there was a lot of people kind of involved in this I think just because of the pandemic and you were trying to juggle a lot of things during that time so um, I think it's my best stuff yet that's just my opinion um, I just feel like it's a little more mature sounding and I just feel like the quality of everything has gone up a notch so you have a, a brand new song just came out the other day. She gone. I, I understand mm -hmm. it's about a breakup. So can you t tell us about your new music? Yeah. Uh, so I wrote this song. We we're doing a writing retreat in the Okanagan this past summer. My album is already done. Like we're, we're getting the artwork together. I always send my demos into my label and some of my people I throw ideas by and Tara Lee at Grassroots, she heard this song and she's like, that's your next single. And I'm like, but my, my songs are already done. And she's like, no, I love this song. I want it to go out in the new year. So she kind of got the ball rolling, whether she admits it or not. So I think from the time we wrote it to finish it, it was fully done within three weeks. And it just kind of happened. Like the song was never supposed to be on this album. So it just kind of just kind of came about. <laughs> yeah. Now we saw that you wrote this song in like an hour is when you said, mm -hmm. Oh, I write five to seven songs a week. Is that mm -hmm. average for you now? Or is that really fast? That's really fast. Usually on average, I'm usually within three hours tops. I'm usually have a song done, but this song just kind of wrote itself. And we did have, I'll leave it at this. We had a bit of a late night the night before. And we didn't really want to write that morning. <laughs> and uh, I think my, I think it was, uh, Jeff said at the time, he's like, oh, she gone or something. And I was like, she gone. And we're like, that's kind of cool. I don't know what's there. And we just started kind of humming things. And I think we, I think we finished it within 45 minutes. And then there was another writing room going on. So Jeff's like, let's just demo it. So we literally wrote the song and demoed it and sang on it within three hours. And that never happens to answer your question. So the song, as I'd say to some people, kind of wrote itself. So yeah. So you're you're down in Nashville. Uh, you're mm -hmm. at Tay Bay's house right now, just <laughs> hanging out with everyone. Yeah. Kind of what life is like down there? You just walk down the street and you're just hanging out with all these country superstars. Not quite, but uh, <laughs> you do uh, you, you do see quite a few of them down here. Um, you know, it's an easy town to go have fun in. I'll let you know that. Like, you can go, literally go out seven days a week and watch some really amazing live music. If, if people haven't been here, it's if you love music, it's the place to be. But for me, uh, I feel like I'm just working a, like a day job down here. I'm literally just getting up, having a coffee, either going into my publishing house or, or to a recording studio. And we're just writing songs. And that, that's kind of my life right now until the summer starts. Now, Chris, the pattern usually goes... New single, new album, new tour. Are we going to be seeing you hanging around here anytime soon? 
Absolutely. We, we are working on that um, with the people who are at Sakamoto. They're great. And uh, we're, we, you definitely will. We'll, we're going to be hitting Canada hard with touring really, really soon. So I'll make sure I let you guys know. And funny enough, you're in Cochrane, Alberta. That's correct. Yeah. I actually, actually about three, maybe three years ago when, when the pandemic hit, I ended up moving to the Okanagan. I was actually looking at buying a place in Cochrane, believe it or not. I'm not just saying that. Not just saying that. And the reason I like Cochrane is, A, it was more affordable. And, B, you had the mountain view, but you were on the Alberta side. And that really drawn me to to looking at some real estate there. So you guys live in a very beautiful place. But then you were like, oh, Okanagan. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's the thing. <laughs> I'm in a condo in the Okanagan. <laughs> I can't in the Okanagan. It's lovely. You're right, right. Which is now <laughs> well, currently you, you rented out because I'm not living there, there but it is there. <laughs> Sorry, say that again. We have lots of houses still for sale here in Cochrane. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah hey, you never know. You never know. So, since you know us, you've come, you've looked around, all that stuff. You know, we have an awesome event center, man. We just had George Fox in town rocking a full house. So, hey, Chris Bach, come hey, on. You know, yeah. Right. Hold hold me to it. We'll work on something. <laughs> You're going to regret saying that. <laughs> Are those Cochrane people still calling? <laughs>